Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Dobbin of Nova Leap Health Corps. How are you today, Chris? Good, Tracy. Thanks very much. You've just basically had double-digit growth again for your fifth consecutive quarter. Chris, can you tell me how you're managing to achieve this in, this, in these current market conditions? Sure. Well, I guess it starts with the industry that we're in. Obviously, we're a home care services company. Um, the industry itself has been one of the fastest growing industries in Canada and the U.S. for the last few years. And really, just based on demographics, it should continue to be so. Um, I think as a management team, we've been fairly good at identifying you know, targets that are attractive to us. Uh, first, we tend to go into rural uh, or secondary markets in the U.S., primarily in, in New England. Um, and we've been able to find you know, good quality companies run by good management teams. And uh, we've, we've had a lot of success in, in acquiring those companies and then integrating them or bringing them together. And so it's really for, the, for those reasons that we've been able to be, you know, have some good success over the course of the last 12 to 14 months. Of course, we've noticed over the last 14 quarters, I believe it's seven acquisitions that you've done. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you've managed to do so many acquisitions so seamlessly, Chris? Since last September, so September 2017, we've been fairly active on the acquisition front. So in September, we went to Rhode Island. Um, we purchased a company called All About Home Care. In October, we entered into Vermont and New Hampshire. Uh, this past February, we, we made an acquisition in Massachusetts, made another acquisition in Massachusetts in April, uh, acquired a company in Halifax in June. Uh, and then I've made two more acquisitions since then, uh, one at the end of September, again in Massachusetts, and then one mid-October in New Hampshire. Nova Leap has uh, consecutively been not only showing that they have revenue, making acquisitions, I mean, obviously you have a competitive advantage or two. Can you tell us more about this? Well, two, two things. If we look at it from a pure acquisition strategy, I think going into the secondary markets or more rural areas has been attractive for us. So there are certainly areas that have less competition, uh, great caregivers, great referral sources, uh, down-to-earth people. It's just, just areas that we really like. From once we're in at the operational level, our focus really is on dementia care. And so you know, 60, just over 60% of our client base would have some form of dementia. And so that that's really the niche market for us where we're focused on, uh, you know, helping those folks that have dementia. We, we have a specific training program that we're rolling out in Canada and the, the U.S. Uh, that's dementia related. And, and it's really, you know, that's our strategy going forward as I think about growing this company and providing great service to, to the areas that we're in now. Nova Leap has a number of competitive advantages, and I think one thing that I would love our audience to notice is not to assume that your acquisitions are all focused on Canada. In fact, most of them seem to be in the United States. Yeah, that's true. Even though we're trading on the Venture Exchange and we're a Canadian-based company with our head office located in Halifax, the majority of our acquisitions have been made in the U.S., and so we're now in Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts. We do have an operation in Halifax. But certainly the majority of our revenue and the majority of our, our company resides in, in the U.S. With all of your recent revenue growth and, of course, your, your concurrent and regular acquisition plays that you have, Chris, can you tell us a little bit more about your most recent news release and what checkpoints you may currently have in selecting acquisition targets? Yeah, so I, I think similar to that acquisition uh, it, it has been the way we've looked at most of the of the companies. One, they tend to have a, a 10 to 15 year old history, and it's, you know, similar to this company, they're historically profitable. They have a great uh, caregiver base. Uh, so, so you know, our folks that are out in, in providing service in people's homes, they have a good operation team. So within within an office. Uh, generally, there's a scheduler, an office manager, maybe a nurse, um, and so it just sort of ticked the boxes for all of the 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 things that we look for. In addition, it was located in Amherst, New Hampshire. We already have a location in Lebanon, Hanover, and also provide service up in the Littleton, New Hampshire area. 
And so it, it, for us, it was really a tuck in acquisition because we rebranded it as part of our Armistead uh, senior care brand, uh, which is based at South Burlington, Vermont. So location and really staff was what was important to us. And, and so that's why we did that deal. So for all of us looking at Novaly that are undoubtedly going, hey, how did we miss this one that's currently on the board? Can you tell us what we should anticipate in our upcoming next quarter or two? Well, we just we just closed um, two transactions. One was on September the 28th. And so really that was, you know, had sort of two days left in Q3. And, and that business was doing, you know, north of $3 million U.S., and then we also had a, a, a the, the smaller transaction you're referring to, which was doing you know roughly a million dollars U.S. A, a year in revenue, that closed in October. So again in Q4. So um, we, you know we've had sort of two virtually Q4 closings, and so um, you know one would expect that as a result of that, you, you should continue to see some fairly strong growth for Q4. Well, Chris, it was always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us today and giving us an update on Nova Leap Health. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Tracy.